Okay, let's hope the fish is still on there. Yeah, he's still on. This is a big one. This is the fish, Sam. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's big. Yeah, let's just guide him back. His jaw is caught because he's so big. Please stay on. Look at this. You can just see his jaw at the bottom. A little bit of slack. Oh, look how big his head is. Okay, just hold the taut, hold the taut. Yeah. Oh. oh my goodness, Sam. <laughs> Welcome back. We got your girl, Sam. What are we doing today? We're tip up fishing. For pike. We're pike fishing today. It is the end of the season. By the time you watch this, it's probably the start of the season. But uh, we're gonna do some tip up fishing for pike. A couple of iFish Pros, a couple tip ups, and Sam's gonna be doing some running around if, if all goes as planned. So enough talk. We're gonna drill some holes and uh, we'll lead you through the steps after that. Okay, well you should here, here. I did it. You did great. You did great. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna give you a little uh, a few steps. Phenomenal job. Sam did a phenomenal job, but what I like to do is push it through three quarters of the way and then kick that slush ring down. There's I mean a couple reasons for that. Snowmobilers, if that freezes, snowmobilers can hit it. Secondly, it's actually really easy for other people to see your fishing spots. So if you kick that down, when it freezes, once you're gone, other people don't see those big beacons, those big rings. And now there's kind of two different things I can do. I can just pull it straight up or I can use the reverse and actually push that slush down the hole. All right, so we are fishing a creek mouth here. There's a creek behind us and we're gonna be in, I've caught fish here super shallow, but like anywhere from three feet to 11 feet of water. So we're gonna spread out. You can have your tip up 60 yards apart. This is gonna kind of be our central location. And uh, yeah, let's see what we got for depth at the first hole. Like if there was three feet of water under the ice, that would be enough. So this first hole is pretty shallow. There's probably four or five feet of water under the ice. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna set up an aqua view. So I'm gonna drill a second hole beside. We're gonna hook up a Dakota lithium power box. It's gonna help run the camera a little bit longer, run our recording device, the Aver Media, which you may have seen me talk about in past videos. But uh, it, there's no better situation for getting underwater strikes than tip up fishing for shallow water pike. You're in three, four feet of water. The water's typically pretty clear. There's good light penetration. So we're gonna pop one more hole drop our first bait down, drop our camera down, just so we got that running and then start setting the rest. So we're gonna, we're gonna, do, we're gonna get all the talking out of the way before the fish catching starts. Um, we're gonna set iFish Pro in this first one. This is essentially a tip up, you can use it with your rod. When it's nice and warm like this, this is like my favorite way to, to set things up. So, gonna pull the flasher out, set that over the hole and get some bait going. We're using Cisco's for bait today. They are nice and soft. I made sure to thaw some before we came out here. Something that's very important is squishing that air out, otherwise your bait isn't going to sink. So um, we're using a quick strike rig today. I'll link uh, a previous video where I show you guys how to make a quick strike rig. And that is what pike love, a big greasy meal. Okay, so it's shallow here. As I said, it's like four feet of water under the ice, so we don't have, uh, we don't have to lift it up too high. All right, a little clip goes under the flag. All right, so that's set. Now the fun part. This is the underwater camera. If you're using an underwater camera, having one of these pods is so helpful. This is what's gonna help you dial in your camera. Without one of these pods, it can be a pain trying to get your camera just right. We're using the HD7i camera. All right, so this is the Avermedia Gamer 2. I'll link it below. This is what screen records. It's kind of, kind of a clunky system, but it's how you get uh, HD. So you need it powered, and then you need an HDMI feed. So we got an HDMI cord coming out of the camera. And then I, I have two different cameras. I have one camera that I've modified and I added some plugs. That's another video that I'll link below. But for this one, this power box by Dakota Lithium is super handy for this sort of stuff because it's got multiple ports. So not only can I power my camera, I'm gonna power a GoPro that's gonna be filming this flag. I'm gonna power the recorder. So it's just everything's, everything's here in this nice little, nice little bundle. The camera's set up. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these bendy arms and I'm gonna put a GoPro pointed over there as well. All right, so we got so many things plugged into the power box. We got the GoPro, we got the recording device, and later if we end up draining the, the battery enough in the aqua view, we can plug the camera in as well. But this one is set up. That's it for talking for a little bit. We're gonna spread out as far as two feet of water under the ice all the way out to you know 11, 12. So now the work begins. What do I do? What do I do? 
Oh, he ate it. Look at him. He's on the camera. What's going on, Sam? I don't know what to do. Okay, pull it out. Okay, okay you're just going to reel into him and hit him. Okay. You ready? Yes, Sam is hooked up. Look at that big gator. Nice! We got one! Okay. Good job, Relax. Samantha. Relax. <laughs> nice pike for Samantha. Isn't that cool? Did you see him eat? No. Just all of a sudden the flag was up right in front of you. Boom. Good job, baby. All right. Well, that was quick. Good job. Well, folks at home, folks at home, our flags are set. We got Sam. We got a lot going on here, a lot of gear, but it's gonna happen. We got underwater cameras on two of our flags. It could happen. It could happen. Flag, 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 flag. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, let me beat you. Stop, stop. You just wanted to make it look like you're faster than I am. <laughs> oh, it's moving. <sighs> Sam's hooked up. Ooh. Ooh. Let's fish this way. Take your time, baby. What do you think? A little better than the last one? <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> No, 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 no. Um. What do we got, Sam? No, Ooh, that's a nice pike. No, that's a nice pike. Time. Yeah, that's a big pike. Can't, can't that is a that. big pike. Oh, he's fat. Oh my goodness, he's fat. Look at the size of that pike. Just No, 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 don't put your hand in. Just keep it taut. That pike is monster. Here, you grab this. Yeah, show me, Sam. We got the hooks out. Look at this. <laughs> that is so fat. <laughs> Push his back out a little more. You can't oh. even hold him. Nice, he has baby. A big belly. <laughs> that is a big fish. That is so fat. I got about 10 more seconds. <laughs> Unreal, kids, get it back. You got it? That is a big fish, baby. <laughs> yes! Good job. Unreal. We got another flake up, Sam. We got another flake. Hey, here. Okay, well, we just gotta go for it. I'm gonna lose a tooth today. All right, I'm gonna hit it. Small, very small. I think he's swimming towards me. Wow. That's the thing is you can have nothing for 45 minutes and then it can just all of a sudden all the flags start flying. What is this? It is tiny. I love pike. So when that pike starts thrashing the hole, same thing with Sam's before, don't just stick your hands in there. Like he's probably hooked decent. And until the hooks actually pop out, I wouldn't be trying to make a, sta a stab at it. So cool. Well, we're gonna burn through some tip of bait today. I think this feels good. That's like three fish in less than an hour. Cardio. That's a shallow flake, shallow flake, shallow flake. Wait, Sam, you need to, hey, whoa, relax. Sam just gets so excited, so excited. We got time, we got time. We're just gonna enjoy this. Let's grab some pliers, let's grab another bait, Sam. Just enjoy the moment. Let's go! You just wanna beat me to it. It's spinning. Yeah, hit it, hit it, hit it. Give him a jerk, yeah. Doesn't need to be massive. There he is. Not huge. Oh, he's decent. It's... Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> He's that here! scared me so bad. All right, Sam. Here she goes. Little guy. Nice. Good job. Gone. This was the shallowest hole. This was like two feet of water. Oh, good. Are you comfortable now? Oh, my back. Are you going to watch flags? I will hear them. I will watch the camera, notify you when a pike comes by, okay? Ours are hard. There's pollen floating through the sky. 
See, over there. Yeah, you're crazy. You're definitely <laughs> whack. I'm not crazy. You are whack. See, pollen. Did you see it? No, you're, you're psycho. Ego. Is it chasing the pollen? Oh, it's in the pollen, yeah. Up to... <laughs> Ouch. It's Sam, um, tell me when a flight goes. Sorry, I'll stop being annoying. Let me go to sleep, that's the easiest way for me to stop being annoying. That would be delightful. Okay. Go to bed. Stop, 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 stop. The shallow one, the shallow one with the camera. Flag! Oh, 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 oh. There's a flag! I beat her! He's moving line. Yeah, yeah, he's screaming line. Oh, hit him, hit him, hit him, hit him. Ooh. Oh, he's small. Oh, oh, oh. He did a bit on the camera cord. There we go. Unreal. I had to take advantage of today. It was just like unreal. Another one, same one again. Sam, we got a flag. We gotta go. We gotta go get it. Okay, we're gonna set up the tripod. All right, this fish is just peeling line. Sam's eating alphagettis. I kind of want to pull the camera up now before it becomes a situation. As mentioned, this is the slugger. This is 46 extra heavy. And uh, so far it's battled the biggest fish of the day. You can check your drag, that's the beauty too, since you're free spooling. Okay, I'm gonna hit him. Oh, ho, ho. yes. We are hooked up, does not feel big, but this has been the hot hole, the shallowest hole. And this fish came here in a hurry. Oh, wow, he's, yeah, he's not big. Open his mouth and get that bait back. There we go. Sweet, legs. <laughs> That was unreal. That was unreal. He just launched back out. Is that flag new? Yeah, that's the one I need to fix. Oh, wild. That's a fish. There's a fish on this one, Sam. Just as I was dropping it down. Oh, this might be big. We're just gonna quickly pull this out. Oh, this is better. Yeah, this is definitely better. We are hooked up, guys. I was dropping the bait down. I think this is a little bit better. Oh, it's decent. That was ridiculous. I didn't, didn't even get the camera set up properly. I probably would have gotten the eat. I can see her head, she's so close. It's not as big as Sam's, but still a pretty nice fish. Come on, baby. Nice. Man, they are fat. This is a nice fish. All right, it's probably a nice 30 some inch fish. I don't know, 34, 33. Somewhere in that range. My biggest of the day. Sun is starting to drop behind us. And it has been just, this flag has been nonstop. There she goes. Wow. Well, Sam, mm -hmm. you've now missed two fish because of your alpha What do you have to say for yourself? Big pike. <laughs> That's pretty good. You like it? I love it. I made it for you. Thank you. Another flag. It's getting sloppy, Sam. What do I do? Set the hook. Reel on a big pike. Oh, I'm so out of breath. I'm gonna manage your line as you go. Ooh, Ooh let him go if he wants to go. He's going. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. He stepped on something. Okay, I'll put my arm in. Is he done? No, 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 no. Okay, he's out. Sometimes that line digs into the bottom of the ice, and you gotta be a hero. It's a decent fish. Here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh no. Oh no, it just nodded itself. Quit managing my line, man. I'm trying to help, but I'm making it worse. Guys, this is one of the best days I've ever had at tip-up fishing. Me too. Ooh, hey. that's a nice one. Hey. Can you just lift slowly? Yeah. Oh Stop. my goodness. Why does that always happen to me? <laughs> All right, that was wild. Look at this pike, Sam, get in there. Unbelievable. What a day, okay. 
There she goes. So guys, as you saw when I stuck my hand down there, I think this is something to be prepared for when you're tip-up fishing is some people bring a hockey stick, some people have a long scoop along, or you just are willing to get your arm wet. But what'll happen is that line will actually cut into the ice when that fish turns a sharp angle and you put a lot of pressure on him. So that's why it'll, it'll cut in and kind of stop the fight. And that might've been why the line broke before on this setup, but uh, that was sweet. That was a nice quality fish. So as far as where I like to set the bait goes. I mean, if I'm super shallow, I'll have it a little bit tighter to bottom. And if I'm in deeper water, 12, 15, 18 feet, then I'll have it a little higher up. But now we're in like two feet of water. So it's like, I don't know, eight inches off bottom. There you go, set back up. Flag up. Flag Sam. Flag, flag, flag. Flag, 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 flag. He's peeling line. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay. Oh dear. He's just screaming. What happened? What did just I Just hit him. Close it. No. Oh, oh. Let's loosen this up a little bit. Yeah. He's in the weeds. This might be a bigger fish. Oh, yeah. Keep him off the hole. Yeah. This might be a bigger fish. I don't know, Sam. He's cutting in some weeds there. What do we got? Yeah, just gentle now. Ooh, this is a better one. Oh, no. Come on. This is the big rod. We're using the slugger. Oh, ho, ho. oh, he's in the camera. He's in the camera. One second here. Oh, no. Your bail's open, you're okay, you're okay. This is such a disaster. So right now the fish swam into the aqua view and we're trying to land it via the aqua view. And I don't have much of a drag system. I just don't want to pull too tight. Okay, let's hope the fish is still on there. Yeah, he's still on. This is a big one. This is the fish, Sam. Oh, that's big. Oh, that's big. Yeah, let's just guide him back. His jaw is caught because he's so big. Look at this. You can just see his jaw at the bottom. A little bit of slack. Oh, look how big his head is. Okay, just hold the taut. Hold the taut. Oh. Oh my goodness, Sam. <laughs> Sam, oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. That fish was an absolute rodeo. Just got one treble in there. These long pliers are so important. All right, the hook is out. All right, show me. Oh, that's big. Support him. <laughs> Look at that pike. Oh my goodness, Sam. <laughs> that is so big. Wow. Hold on one more time. There you go. That's so good, baby. <laughs> that's so big. All right, you can slide it back. Unreal. What a day. That is such a big fish. Unreal. Real. <laughs> you did so good. That was insane. Woo! That was insane. Do you think we're going to land that fish? I almost thought we were gonna land it with the aqua view, which that was, was wild. way worse. That was wild. <laughs> wow. We and, made it. And what I am most excited about, about all that is we got the underwater eat. Yeah, this has been a good day. This has been a very good day. Whew, that was good. That was a hog. Huge shout out to my amazing wife, Sam, for catching all the biggest pike. That was like one of the best days of pike fishing I've had through the ice, just for the sheer action and any amount of flags. It was like plus six today. You, and the, you can't go wrong. And the weather was phenomenal. We so could guys, have caught nothing and still been just pieces punch. If you want to catch one of your biggest fish of the ice fishing season, book off a week at the end of March. 
Get yourself some Cisco's, that's what you're using for bait. Get yourself some iFish Pro, some tip-ups, whatever you want. A milk jug and a bunch of line, you can make that work too. And catch yourself some big toothy gators. And don't forget to... Pick up your trash.